Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Alright guys, this is going to be a reading for Cancer. Um, cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This can be for you as a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or you can be a cross-watcher for somebody that has those placements. There will be an extended version for those of you who this is really resonating. And in the extended, we'll be finding out what this person's desiring what they may have to say to you at this time, what to expect over the next four to six weeks, um, and then like the outcome of those four to six weeks. But right now, we're going to grab a little bit of overall energy from the crystal spirits just to see what comes through for you guys right now. I've got Malachite that just popped out, which is 34. So let's see what... Oh, and Moldavite's on the bottom. Moldavite is very high vibrational, like um, starseed energy. It's um, like a, a meteorite, you know. It's, it's really cool. I think it's because a meteorite hit the earth. I can't exactly remember exactly what it is. But, oh, and it's, it goes in order, 34, 35. But there's a lot of love energy coming through here as well because it's connected to that color green, which is our heart chakra. So whomever you're asking about, I feel like there's a lot of love within your connection. Um, now let's see what the little... I've been grabbing the little what do you call it, message, relationship message out of this book for the beginning part of these readings, and then we dump, jump in with the tower. Oh my god, the tower. I can't say it. The tower. Tarot. Maybe there's a tower moment coming for you guys. Okay, so we've got transformation, rebirth, through fire, initiation. Oh, I'm doing Moldavite. And opening to new experiences, revitalization, and renewal. So Moldavite's bringing in a lot of transformation. Let's see what the Malachite is, because that's the one that popped out first. I'm usually only taking one of these, but they're like making me take both. Clarity of thought and emotions, the right use of intellect, integrating thoughts and intuition. The relationship messages, are you trying to justify knowing what you know? Malachite spirit is here to tell you that you are both smart and wise. When you, when you consider what is currently happening with your relationships, right thinking is married to your inner wisdom, which is guided and provided by the conscious universe. Trust that you have the ability to balance the incoming messages from your rational self in the part of you that just knows. Honor your emotions, but be guided to the con by the conscious universe and your intellect to help you make decisions. For your emotions right now may be an echo of the past, out of proportion with what is happening today. Meditate, and it will be easier to see the evidence and use valid reasoning and intuition to weigh it. So, it's kind of interesting. I feel like there's some sort of major transformation happening that's going to bring you clarity some of you just know, like you just know this is your person or you just know something about your person is happening right now. But for some of you, you're being like kind of clouded by fear based off of past relationships. So you need to transform that. And I feel like some of you are. I feel like some of you definitely are doing this right now and some of you may need to kind of like step into that. So if you've been cheated on in the past, you've been, you know, hurt in the past or maybe even this person that you're interested in at this point has done some things to you. Try not to go to that place of fear that's like, I just know they're going to do it again or things like that because you start manifesting it. You start attracting it into your reality. And I think some of you are getting that concept and you're transforming away from that way of thinking and feeling and being and you're just knowing that everything's going to work out okay. So there's a definite split within your energy. Uh, before I did this, you know, came on here for you guys, I was picking that up that like some of you guys are definitely in a really good place, like happy and things. And others are, are kind of in a not so great place. So there's a definite split within the energy for cancer right now. And I could be picking up between you and your person. Like you could be really good and your person could be in a like not so great place. So let's just grab some overall energy here. Look at that. The Nine of Pentacles with the Temperance card. Ten of Cups on the bottom here. So I feel like... Like I said, a lot of you guys are in this place. You're in your nine of pentacles. You're confident. You're feeling good. This is where you need to be to attract your ten. Temperance is a card of healing. It's balance. It's my yes union energy. And seeing the ten of cups down here, it's like, you know, you guys are getting there. You're going into this place of, of happiness. Or some of you may already be there. You may already be feeling, you know, great and feeling like your happy ending is there you just know it you know maybe this is just an inner knowing that this is this is where you're headed because of the work you've done you know because you're trusting you're balancing you're doing what you got to do to heal and you just know on some level your ten of cups is coming your way for others of you 
I feel like you could be kind of guarding yourselves a little bit. You could be like almost blocking yourself. And it could be, again, because of whatever's happened in the past. The Six of Cups is that nostalgic energy, reconciliation energy. And then it's followed by the Tower and the Devil. So, yeah, for some of you guys, whatever happened to you in the past, you need to release this because it's like it's a cage, but it's not even locked. And it's like she's separate from all of this stuff out here. But she really isn't. Like if she just, you know, like undid it, she'd be able to get out and, and be in the mix of all of this. But it definitely feels like whatever's happened maybe in childhood, maybe in past lives, maybe within past relationships, it's almost causing this energetic blockage to this just out of a place of fear or of like, I just know it's going to happen to me again. Or I know, you know, so-and-so has done this to me before. They're probably going to do it to me again. It's like you, you got to really let go of those things and go within inside of yourself and feel that nine of pentacles, which I definitely feel some of you are here. And because of that, it's like you've, you've beat this, you know, you fought through this, you understand you've done the inner child work, you've done the past life work, and now you're rebuilding your tower because you've broken out of that cage. So there's definitely that split. And I, I guess just pick what side it feels like you're on. But I definitely feel like this is where you're headed, regardless if you're there now or not. It's just a matter of doing that work, you know, going back and looking at those past lives and going back and looking at that inner child, looking at the past relationships, the past experiences that came crumbling down, and then realizing like it just because it happened before doesn't mean it has to happen again, allowing fire to transmute and to change, you know, the energies that you've been rippling out and attracting into your life. So let's see what's going on with your person right now. We've got the Wheel of Fortune with a Knight of Swords. So I feel like for some of you, you know, your your destined person wants to come in and talk to you. The Wheel of Fortune is about abundance. It's, you know, things starting to spin into our favor. It's things moving. And look, at he's like even on a wave that's like similar to that, that circle energy. So for some of you, there is somebody that wants to come rushing in and communicate to you. That is a part of your destiny. You've likely already connected with them in the past. Um, but I definitely feel there's anxiety surrounding it. So some of them... They definitely have got something to say, but they could just be anxious about how to say it or when to say it or if you even want to hear it, you know. Um, and for some of you, you could be anxious about this too. I feel like for some of you, you may you just, you may just know that this person has something to say to you and it's like, I don't know if I want to hear it. Um, and I feel like that's like, again, that, that energy of like juggling. Some of you are juggling back and forth between this. I feel like some of you, because there's such like a shift in the energy, it's like some of you are going back and forth between these energies pretty quickly I sense like some of you are feeling great one minute and then the next minute you're like I don't know you know it's like you have this inner knowing you have this trust that things are going to happen things are going to get good and then others of you are like freaking out and uh, blocking yourself because you're worried about the past repeating and I think those of you who are worrying about the past repeating your person may be more in a state of anxiety as well, like kind of mirroring that towards you. So you want to get into this place of taking everything that has already transpired between the two of you or between you and any relationship and looking at the positives that, you know, the lessons that you've learned, the energy that you've grown through and knowing that you're still working towards that nine of pentacles, which attracts your 10. So you're still moving and regardless, like your destined person is still going to come in towards you. So there's no reason to juggle your own value or to feel anxious about it so let's see what else your person is feeling or thinking at this time yeah somebody definitely i think somebody definitely wants to make that some sort of approach here the page of pentacles is like an offer it's somebody that's like making like an engagement type of offer where it's it's pure you know and it's coming from this place of like innocence and purity and i feel like they they do sense this for a lot of you who are in this nine of pentacles they're wanting to offer towards you like that last pentacle. Yep, on the over here we got the magician and the nine of cups as well. So some of you guys have definitely gone through major transformation. The tools have been collected that are required to make you feel happy, you know, to make you feel whole, make you feel complete. Nine nine is endings and new beginnings. So I feel like a lot of you are coming to the end of a chapter where there was this juggling, there was this anxiety, there was things that were out of alignment with, with you and this offer coming towards you. But for those of you who have really risen here, 
you know, you did all the work you got to do. This person is now wanting to come in to be happy with you. They're wanting a new beginning as well. They're wanting an ending of the chapter that you could be in right now where maybe there's separation or there's just um, no communication happening at this point. But I definitely feel like, you know, this person's ready to make you an offer of that Ten of Pentacles. So when you're in your nine, you attract a person to bring you that last piece that's going to build this. And I keep getting that sense that around Thanksgiving is going to be significant for a lot of people, especially with this deck. Like, you know, I pulled this deck out to do the sign readings with, and I keep getting that Ten of Pentacles in almost every single sign. And it's like, it just looks like Thanksgiving to me. And it goes along with that energy as well. Look at this, Two of Cups with the Ten of Cups on the bottom. A lot of you guys are going to be having something big transform within your love connections. You're bringing in your true partner, your true soulmate, your destined, you know, Union is is upon a lot of you guys, and it's because you're ready to put an end to that chapter where you weren't recognizing this value, you weren't recognizing what you bring to the table on your own, and so now somebody's ready to come in and and make that final offer. And the ten ten is wholeness, oneness, and completion. So I would definitely you know pay attention to what spirit is showing you at this time. Stay in a place of knowing your worth and your value. If you've been you know bringing up stuff from the past or feeling like, you know, I don't know if this is going to go right. What if they come in and it happens like it did before? You really got to release that. I would write down everything on a piece of paper that isn't working, you know, like within your mind or you feel like could be blocking you from this and burn it, you know, burn it out and stop sitting in that energy of waiting for things to happen as well. You want to be in the energy of this is already existing and manifesting inside of your life. You know, you're happy, you're fulfilled, you have all the things that you've ever wanted, you've got the perfect partner, you know, and um, when you think about this, think about like all the details that go along with it too, not just like the person showing up, reflect on what that wish is. You know, the hermit holds the star, which is our wishes. So you need to go in and really get clear about what this looks like so that you're not manifesting your fears because you know what's already happened. You know what you've already been through. You don't want to keep attracting that. So instead of thinking like this person's going to come and do this, start thinking about the things that you do want this person to come in and do and how all of that kind of plays out. So yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles here too. I feel like this person definitely wants a fresh start with you. And again, it's that element of those of you in that Nine of Pentacles, they're ready to make that final pentacle offer towards you that starts building towards the Ten. They're ready to have a more equal give and take with you. So if this person in the past was juggling you and the other people, they were juggling you in something else, some other distraction, they just weren't giving equally to you, I feel like now they kind of want to tap back into that energy of you know, releasing whatever fear they could have had surrounding love. Maybe they looked at love as like, you know, a battlefield. Maybe they've been really hurt in the past. I sense that now they're they're more willing to give you more value. They're more willing to give to you what you're giving to them and building towards something that is that is significant rather than being blocked off to it. So what else is this person thinking and feeling at this time? What could they possibly want? All right, so we've got the, the five of wands here. And the Four of Cups on the bottom. For some of you, this person could sense that, like, this is about conflict and competition. And the Four of Cups is rejection. So some of you, like, they, again, I was picking this up. Some of them could feel like you've maybe been juggling somebody else. Um, or that there is going to be competition if they try to come your way. So if you are already in a relationship or you've been dating other people, if you've, like, a lot of you, if you're in that Nine of Pentacles energy, a lot of times people in that energy attract a lot of suitors. They attract a lot of people who want to be with them because that's that's what it's all about. That's the next step is the Ten of Pentacles. So you probably have a lot of, like, you know, good suitors coming your way that, that are wanting to offer this type of partnership to you that are serious, you know. Um, and whoever, you know, you're asking about right now could be worried that, you're going to give your cup somewhere else and that they're not going to be received well from you. Yeah, because the next one's a five of pentacles. So for some of them, they could feel left out in the cold or again, just feel like you may not want their pentacle anymore, that there's too many other people involved or that there's somebody else that's better than them. Um, it feels like even this could even just be like brought on by their, like they could be drinking or they could be doing something that is making them, you know, conflicted within their energy, making them 
doubt their own their own judgment, doubt their own value and worth, that again can lead to them feeling like they're going to get rejected. It may not have anything to do with another person. It could just be their own fear that they're not good enough or they won't be enough or that they can't offer you enough. You know, sometimes that's the thing here too is that it's just that this person may think that you deserve better or that they don't have what it takes to give a ten of pentacle or a ten of cups because this has to be somebody that you know feels good emotionally somebody that um is willing to do that give and take and give emotionally and this is somebody that usually has that and other stuff going on within their life that brings value to their life they have a lot of people a lot of support you're usually financially you know stable this is like ultimate abundance ultimate happiness so for some of you, I feel like if you're really up in this Nine of Pentacles energy, it could just be intimidation that's making them sense like they are, they could, you know, be facing a battle, be a little afraid of it. But for others, I definitely feel like that's something they've overcome, okay? So I feel like you're going to know. You need to kind of just go within yourself and trust what you're feeling right now. Because like with this Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. So when you go into your heart and you're loving yourself unconditionally, you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy you have the ability to kind of tap in and feel what your other person is going through. Like, is it fear that they're holding on to that you just don't want them? Is it fear? And also, what are you up to? Are you seeing other people because they may know it? Um, are you, you know, closed off to them? They're going to feel that. Are, they, are you afraid of this happening? If that's the case, then they're going to still pick up on that energy and uncertainty and, and it can block them from making that offer. So even if you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, you can still have fears. You can still be worried, especially if this person hurt you in the past. So I would just kind of try to focus on your heart and your intuition on whether or not this is somebody that you want this new beginning with or not. And then from there, try to send that unconditional love to them so that they can feel safe to approach you without having like any more painful endings or bad situations. I really am picking up that though for some of you it's just a reflection of where you're at like if you're really feeling good you're confident you're happy you know like that you're not going to be hurt anymore I feel like this person's coming in with communication and action but for those of you that could be really holding yourselves back and in that place of well this went bad and that went bad and I don't know if I can trust them I feel like you know you may be attracting you, you're it's not that you're attracting it's just that they're going to be afraid of a painful ending as well. They're going to pick up on the vibration that you're rippling out. So just be mindful of where you're at right now. Are you guarded or are you open? And why are you guarded? What are you holding on to from your past that needs to be transformed? Yeah, because it's like just wants to keep coming out. you got to let go of those daggers. So one last thing here. What's coming on through your person? We've got the world and judgment. So there's definitely this sense of completion here. It's like you guys have learned your lessons. Hierophant on the bottom. The the world is the last final major arcana before the fool takes the next leap of faith. Judgment is that final judgment call. This is spirit, you know, giving that blow on the horn that's like, burr, 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 wake up. And it's also a card of reconciliation. So for a lot of you, there has been major transformation. There has been a lot of understanding. You guys have figured things out and it's like, the person is coming to this final judgment. They're closing this chapter of the book so that you guys can begin the next chapter. But it's really dependent upon, and this has been going on for a while within the collective. It's like some of you are new to the journey and some of you have been on it for a while. So depending upon where you're at within that energy is going to be dependent upon your next chapter. For some of you, your next chapter is going to be union. For some of you, your next chapter is going to be like, you know, clearing out any remaining blockages or karmic situations that are keeping you from your union. And others, it's like coming into this if you're holding on to a lot of pain and you're just like in that I need, need, need them to make me happy instead of being happy on your own, it's probably going to be a chapter of major healing and, and of like detachment. And once you reach that place of detachment, you go to the next chapter and you do a little bit more healing and then you go to the next chapter and you're in union, you know. Um, but it's just a matter of being able to drop any burdens that are blocking you or gu keeping you guarded from your reconciliation from, you know, manifesting your true, your true person, your true emperor. So it, I guess, you know, no matter what, I would say don't give up because 
it's all about healing yourself and it's all about manifesting that true divine masculine or divine feminine that's going to come in and you know be there as a as a mirror to where you're at but if you want an emperor you got to be an empress and if you want an empress you got to be an emperor and it doesn't happen overnight it takes a while for this knight to evolve into this place of knowing their value and their worth and it's usually because the both of you are doing that together at, you may not be doing it in union but you're doing it together at the same time you're both learning your lessons you're both balancing things out you're coming into an inner union within yourselves so you can attract it externally and start planting those seeds of potential that are mirrored to you, you know, and when that happens, you get this this leap of faith. So what I'm going to do now is go into this a little bit deeper and we're going to find out what to expect over the next four to six weeks for you guys. What is the person that you're asking about desiring right now? What do they have to say to you? And then the outcome of the four to six weeks, because I definitely feel for some of you, somebody's like at that point of like ready to take that leap of faith. Um, some of them have something to say. I just picked up the deck. I got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So it's like these are romantic offers. Somebody's like waiting and watching for the opportunity to say something. And, you know, others of you, I feel like you're on that that brink of healing so it's really going to be dependent upon which side of the story you're on. But if you're wanting to join me, that link will be down below. If not, thank you for joining me this far. I've been getting a lot of emails about private readings. Um, I'm probably going to open up requests again soon because I'm at a point now where I'm like three weeks out um, before I'm done catching up on the ones I have. And then I was going to take you know a couple weeks off of them altogether. So I will let you know, guys. Um, I might start you know, taking the requests next Monday and it will just be like a two month wait from there. So I'll figure out the dates. It's not going to be like too long. It's probably going to be like the same as my, my last waits, like six to eight weeks, but I just needed to wait a while so that I could ensure that I get a little bit of a break. Um, and I will have the healing sessions available soon and I will have some more candles coming this weekend and um, there's a giveaway happening on Instagram right now for this deck. If this is one that you're wanting and it's on Facebook page, Divine Essentials. All of that information is in my description box, how to find me and all of that. And I think that's it. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a link down below. Thank you very much to those who have been donating. Um, and if you'd like to send anything off the wish list, that link is down below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, stick around. And, oh, please stop, you know, asking me about the signs. <laughs> um... I, I do the signs as I can, and I post them as I can, and I, I ask spirit which sign to do next, so, like, I, you know, it's, it's best to just kind of, like, it just kind of, it's aggravating when people are like, Meh. it's like, I, I'm, I'm only one person, I've got a lot of things to do, so, just give me time, okay, guys, in Renee, namaste.